What if in your home when you're praying, there were enemies in the invisible world whose assignment is to stop your prayers from getting even to the ceiling, let alone to God? What if those invisible enemies were in your city and in your state and in your country? What if you could get rid of those invisible enemies and have an open heaven for your prayer? This, this is what would happen. Your prayers would be answered instantly. That is normal. I want you to be normal. I'll tell you what. National leaders are saying that when they get a hold of the teaching of Dr. John Benefil, their prayers are being answered instantly. But for you to get a grasp of what he's teaching, you've got to understand a term you've probably read in the Bible and kind of skipped over because that was in the olden days. Uh, well, it's still around. Uh, it's the term Baal. Who's Baal? Well, Sid, Baal is in the Bible in Matthew 12, 24. He's referred to as the ruler of the demons. Now, in Matthew 12, 24, it says Beelzebub or Beelzebul, and that used to throw me off because you look that up and it says Lord of the Flies, and I thought, I don't have any trouble with flies. But it's, when you look at it deeper, you find out that's just another name for Baal, and Baal is the false Jesus or counterfeit Jesus. Paul talked about that. He said, you know, if, if someone else brings you a different gospel or a different Jesus, don't receive it. So as Jesus is the executor of the Father's will, I believe that Baal is the executor of Satan's will. And so it, Baal has influenced Israel. Baal has influenced the world. He, if he's the ruler of the demons, then we have to learn how to deal with him, how to knock him out legally, and that's the prayers that we teach. Okay. What is the major job description? What areas uh, does Baal influence in a country? Well, really, said he influences everything. If he's the ruler of the demons, then all of culture is under his authority in one way or another. But for instance, he is Baal Hamon, which is like Mammon or Mammon. He's the one that's stopping the great wealth transfer to the church. He's the one that is behind poverty and systemic poverty. And also, he's the one behind sexual perversion, all kinds of like sexual Like what's perversion. going on right now in the Internet pornography. It's just off the charts. Uh, it's not a natural thing. It's a supernatural thing, and it's not from God. So he's behind Well, that. yes, and with Jezebel, and by the way, Baal is a variation of Baal. Jezebel named herself that because she was a worshiper of Baal. And in the Baal temples, which she had, she employed full-time male and female cult prostitutes who committed sex acts in the open for everyone to watch as a part of their worship ceremony. So today, when someone engages in pornography of any form, whether they realize it or not, they're engaged in Baal worship, and Baal has a legal right to operate in their life. Uh, how about just, I mean, it seems like almost suddenly... Uh, homosexuality is normal uh, as defined by society, not as defined by God. Uh, how, how did this just suddenly erupt in, well, a, been, in the world? It's been growing for a long time. It's right. been growing since the, the garden, if you want to put it that way. But it's been getting worse and worse because we've, we have allowed the Baal to infiltrate our, our Christianity, for example. When we traded uh, biblical holidays, for example, and biblical observances for pagan holidays, for example, then we gave Baal a legal right into our nation. And so when we lusted in our hearts, we, we allowed Baal to come in and bring that pornography in, including homosexuality. Because in, as I said, in the Baal temples, they had, they had male on female and female on female and male on male. Now, it's said that this uh, Baal is a god with a small g of a thousand Faces. Yes. What do you mean by that? Well, it, it means he's gone by th thousands of different names and faces over the centuries because 
He wants to appear as an angel of light. You know, the Bible says that. The enemy appears as an angel of light. He wants to appear good, and he does not want us to find him out because when we find him out, we have a chance of getting him. We have a chance of taking him down once we recognize his tactics. You know, the Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. And the Bible also admonishes us to watch out because your adversary is a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. The Bible also talks about in Ephesians 6, 12, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. People are not our problem, but against principalities and powers. And as you said, our problem is in the unseen realm. And if we don't know how to deal with the unseen realm, like the Bible tells us to do, then we're at a great disadvantage. It's like, kind of like being in a boxing me, ring and, and we're boxing an invi in, invisible adversary. All right. Uh, you said uh, the God of Islam, Allah, is connected to Baal? What we found out in our researches, and it's not that hard to find out, is that Allah's original name was Baal Allah and also who Baal or who Baal, because Baal is also one of the pronunciations of Baal. And it makes sense if he's the ruler of the demons that all false religions would be under his orchestration. And, and, and uh, so Islam, Muslim, yeah. Mormon, yeah. witchcraft. Yes. But guess what? When the enemy is unmasked, you have the authority and it's most a genius way that God shows you to get rid of the, 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 these demons when they're gone. Open heaven open for every one of your names. How'd you like that? How'd you like that? Have you prayed over and over again only to find your prayers unanswered? God has revealed the thief who is sabotaging everything surrounding you so your prayers are not penetrating heaven. Now you can get rid of this thief and access God's blessings, miracles, signs, and wonders. Find out more when we return with Dr. John Benefil. Call now and get John Benefil's anointed book and three-part DVD teaching series, Binding the Strong Man Over America. It's yours for a donation of $45. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9167. Through this book and DVD teaching series, you will receive the ancient keys to have your prayers answered immediately. Fully recognize the thousands of disguises of Baal and learn how to defeat him, releasing miracles and blessings into your life. Unlock the financial inheritance to you as God releases his supernatural wealth transfer. Included are two powerful prayers, the Baal Divorce Decree and Writ of Assistance. Through these two anointed prayers, you will bind the strong man over your life, city, state, and nation so you can begin receiving the blessings and promises of God in every area of your life, including your finances, emotional and physical healing, and so much more. I'm excited about the future of our country. I'm excited about the future of Christians who love the Lord and will get Baal out of their lives so God can bring in the wealth transfer that he has prophesied to us. Don't miss out on getting John Benefil's anointed book and three-part DVD teaching series, Binding the Strong Man Over America. It's yours for a donation of $45. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9167. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9167 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write to Day. We now return to It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid here with John Benefil and uh, Dr. John. I am overwhelmed with the information. I just hope we can get, get all of it out. But uh, we are literally worshiping Baal, this false god through a lot of things that are done in ignorance. Uh, for instance, uh, tell me, tell me uh, uh, something about uh, uh, our U.S. dollar. Well, on the back of the U.S. dollar, if you look at it, you see the seal of the United States. And part of it on the back of the dollar is the pyramid. Uh, the, and with the top of the pyramid is the all-seeing eye. It's a truncated pyramid, and up the top, there's this all-seeing eye, which is the eye of Lucifer. Just as the Statue of Liberty, and I'm not making this up, the History Channel gave an hour special on this a couple of years ago, exposing that 
the Statue of Liberty is actually a statue of Lucifer. The originators of that statue were three French Freemasons that admitted this is Lucifer, but they said it's not really Satan. This means the light bearer. So the <laughs> eye of Lucifer is on the back of our dollar bill. And that's, uh, that's under Freemasonry, even though they may not, most Freemasons don't understand this. You know, most Masons, most Mormons, most, most folks don't understand that they've been duped. They, they don't go into those organizations wanting to be duped, but that's what the enemy does. He deceives us because he appears as an angel of light. Now, speaking of uh, Masons, one of the leaders in the U.S. was a man by the name of Albert Pike. Pike. Tell me about him. Albert Pike was a Confederate general who was convicted of treason, yet he uh, is, there's a statue of him in D.C., and he, he uh, wrote Morals and Dogma of Freemasonry, which is the Bible for Freemasons. Most Freemasons don't even realize this, but the higher you go, the more you'll find out. And what he wrote was, and what's revela revealed in the 33rd degree of Freemasonry, is that Lucifer is God, Lucifer is the good God, and our God, Adonai, is the evil God. They have it all backwards. As perverted as you can get, but you would expect that from the enemy, wouldn't you? Now, I, I find this hard to believe, but the Ku Klux Klan was started by the same Albert Pike? Albert Pike started the Ku Klux Klan in the United States, and his friend in Italy, Mazzini, at the same time, who were both Masons, he started the mafia at the same time. They're all connected. All Remember, there's only two kingdoms. There's the kingdom of God and there's the kingdom of darkness. And if Baal is the ruler of the demons, then it's all under his orchestration. And when I say his, it's, it's the, there's as much female as there is male because the queen of heaven is the part that's the female part of, of the Baal principality. Uh, what about Mormonism? How does this fit in? Same way. Uh, same way, really. Uh, Mormonism stems from masonry, and if you look at the two worship systems and their rituals and all of that, you find them to be almost identical to each other. Uh, District of Columbia. I was born there, and I'm shocked by what you told me. Well, when we named it the District of Columbia, we said this is the district belonging to Columbia, okay? But we didn't know who Columbia was. Well, Columbia is the queen of heaven, and the statue on top of our nation's capital is called the Statue of Freedom. But you, when you find it out, you find out this the Statue of Columbia. So that idol, and it is an idol, it's, a, it's, an, it's an idol that's really worshiped, that thing is given authority over our nation. That's the queen of heaven. That's the female part of the Baal Principality. And then what you have at the other end of the mall is the Washington Monument, right. which is an obelisk, which is a Freemasonry symbol, which they've really erected. And that thing is a, male, is a male phallic symbol, which is also a part of the Baal worship system. So from one end of our mall to the other, you've got Baal. Uh, now, we, we had a hurricane uh, in which the uh, Washington Monument was cracked and something to do with masons was affected. Explain that. Yeah. Well, uh, there was an earthquake uh, and, and, a, right. and, a, and a hurricane too, both at about the same time. But in July, July the 4th of last year, 2011, we, uh, uh, we led people, uh, a team of people, to the Lincoln Memorial to issue this bail divorce decree. We did it there, and when, what happened was 50 days later, this earthquake, which D.C. hardly ever has happened there, it, it shook the Washington Monument and cracked it so that even today that obelisk, that evil symbol, can't be, uh, it's been, having to be repaired. Also at the House of the Temple, which is 13 blocks north of the White House, where Freemasonry performs the 33rd degree, where they're told that Lucifer is God, what I've been told, and somebody sent me a picture, is that that altar there has been cracked also in that earthquake that cracked the Washington Monument. And the National Cathedral... <laughs> Do you guys think that was just a coincidence? I don't. I don't. Do you think that was I a know, coincidence? No, not at all. Not at all. God continues to amaze us all the time. We just did what God said to do, and then he follows up with his, this great act. And so also the, the National Cathedral, which is not Christian, uh, the, which is the highest point in D.C. And by the way, we renamed it from the District of Columbia to the District of Christ. Well, because <laughs> it belongs to our God. 
those spires, two of the four highest points in D.C., cracked and fell off during that same earthquake. Another coincidence. I, I, I'm going to tell you something. We're surrounded with this. Wait till you hear the next segment. We're surrounded with, with Baal and Baal worship, known and unknown. What if there was a biblical, legal way of divorcing yourself from all of the vestiges, all of the roots of Baal? Can you see how your prayers would be exactly like Jesus praying? We're going to come back, find out how. Many viewers report testimonies of miracles, signs and wonders, and healings as a result of watching It's Supernatural. I'm 14 years old. This morning, I watched It's Supernatural about angels and warmth poured on me. It made me cry. God healed me of stage four inoperable cancer. It is a real blessing to have It's Supernatural to watch each week. If you've been touched through watching It's Supernatural, share your testimony at sidroth.org forward slash praise. We now return to It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here with Dr. John Benefil, and uh, I am overwhelmed with the spiritual clout, and that's what it is. When someone reads this divorce decree from anything known and unknown with this false god, Baal, it just opens up the heavens for an individual. Tell me some of the things that are going on. Uh, for instance, uh, tell me about this baby who was born with their organs outside of the body. It sounds horrific. Uh, yes, and, and then so they called us for prayer. At that time, we didn't have the Baal divorce decree, but we knew we were dealing with Baal. Have his organs replaced uh, and the doctor said to the, to the parents, well, you need to abort this baby. Healthy, you cannot the survive doctors, outside the womb. After that prayer, miraculously, they did another x-ray, another ultrasound, and all the organs were back inside of the baby. And the baby, <laughs> baby is... That's our God. <laughs> Because Baal is the one that always goes after the next generation. Baal tries to cut off the next generation, and so he's the one behind uh, abortion. Tell me about the blind person. Well, a, a girl in our church, when she was little, she had an operation, and the surgeon made a mistake and severed her optic nerve. So she couldn't see. I mean, totally blind. That's history. There's that, nothing I mean, there's they There's nothing do. you can do about that at all. So now she's in college. She comes to us. She learns about the bail divorce decree. We rebuked the bail from her life. I laid hands on her eye, and God healed her that night. And she woke up in the middle of the night seeing, and she, couldn't, she thought it was a dream. She went to the doctor, and the doctor verified, yes, you've got, I don't know how this happened, but you've got an intact optic nerve, and you see just fine, and she drives and everything. How about, how about areas like finances? Oh, finances. Uh, well, we've seen it on an individual level, Sid, and we've seen it on a statewide level and across the country, too. A couple in our church, after learning the bail divorce decree, they declared that in their home and over their business, and the writ of assistance is also part of my teaching. And what happened was they were faced with $19 million in debt, and miraculously, it was wiped out. They don't owe it anymore. They don't Did owe you it. say $19 million? $19 million. Uh, have I got a white house for you to go to in Washington, <laughs> D.C.? Well, you know, in our state, we, we have no budget deficit and we've had no increase in taxes. The governor and the, uh, the attorney general are personal friends of mine, and they're both spirit-filled Christians. So, so, how many, so you have a number of believers praying this uh, divorce decree uh, in Oklahoma City, and tell me what the results are? Well, for one thing, when we started dealing with that, since Oklahoma City is the capital of Oklahoma, we saw our state legislature make a shift that had never happened since we became a state in 1907. Born-again Christians were elected to take over the House of Representatives, and then we divorced bail in the Senate. That next year then, the Senate was taken over, and now all of the statewide elective executive branch offices are all born-again Christians and love the Lord. Uh, what's going on with the, uh, the, in the financial area? Of well, in the financial area, you know, when the recession started, 
Forbes magazine came out with a big article that rated Oklahoma City the most recession-proof city in the nation. And they've been exactly right because we've had the lowest unemployment rate of any city over a million population every month, virtually every month, for the last four years. It's even affecting your sports teams. Well, I've yes. been watching your basketball team. Thank you very much. Team. The Oklahoma City Thunder, <laughs> and there's some wonderful Christians okay. on the team. Yeah. All right. How would you like John to lead you in a prayer so that you can divorce them? You can divorce them. Let's do that right now. All right. And I'll repeat it after you, and uh, you repeat it right after him. I just want to say that we're turning from our wicked ways in this decree. And so if you'll just say this after me, dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus. I turn. I turn from wicked ways. From wicked ways. I want to follow you, Jesus. I want to follow you, Jesus. I ask you to grant me. I ask you to grant a me divorce. A divorce from the principality of Baal. From the principality of Baal. The ruler of the demons. The ruler of the demons. I want nothing to do. I want nothing to do with this evil principality. With this evil principality. I want you and you alone, Lord Jesus. I want you and you alone. So I declare. Jesus. So that I am divorced from Baal. That I am divorced from Baal. And married to the Lord Jesus Christ. Married to the Lord Jesus Christ. Now and always. Now and always. Amen. Amen. Now, that is, that is supernatural. But, now, a lot of people, because of the financial crisis in the United States of America, and for that matter, for the world, uh, because of the morality can the same thing happen in America that's happened in Oklahoma City? Oh, absolutely. I absolutely believe that. Chuck Pierce prophesied to me uh, a few years ago when we first started getting the bail divorce decree. He said, you've got to do this in all 50 states. So I said, okay. So God opened the door for me to go to all 50 states, which I've gone to now. And I've led our prayer network, because I have a leader in a network in all 50 states and 42 nations. I've led them to understand through my teaching, what they're dealing with, and to on purpose divorce Baal. And so we're seeing things change in our nation. I believe we're seeing things change in the elections. I believe we're seeing things change in the economy. As we divorce ourselves from the principality that's the ruler of the demons, and we freely, because remember God said, if my people who are called by my name will do these things, he didn't say everybody, but if they'll turn from their wicked ways, then I'll hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin, and I will heal their land, and see God is healing America. I'm so hopeful and so excited about the future of America. We're not going I like under, hearing going you. Over. I like what this man is Now, tell me very briefly what this other legal... The yeah. of assistance? Yes, what is that? Well, it's just like this. <clears throat> in a court of law, if you get a favorable judgment from a judge, which we just got in the bail divorce decree because God granted us a divorce... I like it. It's wonderful. But then, you know, just because you get a favorable judgment does not necessarily mean you're going to collect on it. So sometimes you have to have law enforcement officials enforce the favorable judgment, and that's what the writ of assistance is, because the angels are charged with the job of going and binding the strong man and plundering his house and bringing us the spoils. And that's what the writ of assistance does. It's a legal document that says angels, we're not praying to angels, but it says we release the angels to go and bind the strong man, under his house and bring us the spoils. That's wealth transfer. Yes, you know, these legal contracts, uh, the devil operates on law. Yeah. You, if you give him a, an inch, he'll take it. But we want to take back all the ground that our Messiah earned yes. us already. But the most important legal agreement is to understand that our Messiah the Messiah of the world, Jesus, came as a man. God became man and lived among us, but lived a perfect life as a man and died in our place so that we no longer are separated from God and that he will live inside of us. And guess what? If you know God before you die, you will know him after you die. With your mouth, say, Jesus, forgive me of my sins. I make you my Lord. Live inside of me. Teach me your ways, the Bible. 
Have you prayed over and over again only to find your prayers unanswered? God has revealed the thief who is sabotaging everything surrounding you, so your prayers are not penetrating heaven. Now you can get rid of this thief and access God's blessings, miracles, signs, and wonders. We